Hello coders, this is Kamran and welcome back to the JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we are going to discuss about an important topic, functions. So we are going to see what exactly function is and how we do we use this in a JavaScript. First of all, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to the channel and share the videos with whoever wants to learn web development from scratch. So let's see what the functions are. So functions are basically a piece of code which you want to run on some event. What event are? When you click a button of your mouse or a key on your keyboard, that is an event. So for example, if you want to run a piece of code on the click of your mouse button, you have to write a function and call that function via the click of that button. It may sound little difficult, but I will show you how easy it is. So what we are going to do, we are going to add a button to our UI and in the click of that button, we are going to change the background color of this particular text. So for that, we are going to add a function and we are going to call that function through that button. Here first we have to declare a function. So to declare a function, we have to use a keyword function and then you have to give the name of the function name of the function you can choose whatever you want so i will name it as a change bg and we have to use a round bracket to denote this as a function and then open a curly braces and inside that you have to write whatever you want to trigger inside this function so i am going to take this piece of code and will write inside this so till now the background color of this div was automatically changed on the load of this HTML file. And now we are going to change the background color on the click of that button. So now we have defined our function. We have to add a button over here. So add a button just like div you have to write button. So button is an HTML tag you can use to add a button inside your HTML file. And inside this button tag, you can write the label of this button, which I will say click to change BG color. That is my label. And now we have to at attach this function to this button. So go inside this opening tag of button and write on click. On click is equals to and inside this double inverted commas, you have to write the name of the function which you want to call. So the name of the function is change BG. You can copy that and paste over here. And also you have to add the round braces. Save it. So now exactly what is going to happen is once I click on this button, this will trigger this function that will change the background of this div. Let's see the output on the browser. So here once I refresh, the, I can see that the button appears on the browser. So if I click on this button, the background of this div changed to green because that function has been called. So this is how you can use a function inside a JavaScript and do different tasks inside your HTML page. Now we have learned how to call a function. We will learn how to pass a parameter to a function. So now instead of changing the background color from one color to other, I want to change it to multiple colors, like three different colors. So how can I do that using a single function? To change it to three different color, I need three different buttons. So first that will change the background color to green. And I will copy paste for two other buttons. And the second will convert it into a blue background and third will change into a yellow background. So I have to use the same function. So how can I do that? So to change background color to different colors, we are going to pass the name of the color to this function and that we are going to use in this function. For example, for the green color, we are going to pass green as a string and similar for the blue and yellow now we have passed the color to this function now we have to take that color and put inside this so inside this round bracket we have to take that variable and that variable we will update inside this function whatever name of this parameter you want to give you can give like i can write over here param 
and that pattern I can pass to this color. Now we have to keep in mind that this green color is not in use. So we can remove this. So let's see the output on the UI. So once I refresh, I can see that I have three different buttons over here. And once I click any of the button, the color of the background will change according to it. So green will convert this to a green background. Blue will convert this as a blue and yellow will do the same for yellow. So here you saw how to pass a parameter to a function. I hope you enjoyed this video learning a new thing. Subscribe to the channel, like the video and share with others. Happy coding everyone. See you in the next video.